Howdy. So, um, today is Monday, 29th, and, um, I just thought I'd make a video because I have time to, surprisingly, I have a lot I'm going to be doing after I finish this video, but, um, I was just making a video response for someone, and I thought I would just make a quick update about my life and just show you kind of what's going on. Um, as for right now, we're coming full swing in No Shave November, we're about two days away from uh, the shaving process, which Olga really wants me to do because I got this weird... I got fuzzies. You're not gonna... You're not gonna be able to see them. E Alright, so right here I'm going to include a picture I took two weeks ago of my facial hair so you can better see it. Um, yeah, but anyway, so I have pretty intense sideburns. I don't know if you can see those. I can't... I can't see if you can see those, but uh... They're there, and they're starting to they're starting to kind of creep down under here. I have neck beard, but I shave it um, because it gets really itchy, you know. And I, I don't wanna, I don't want to deal with that. Um, and then I got sideburns over here too, my left hand side. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. You know, it's coming down. I'm really excited. Uh, I really kind of want. I really kind of want this to fill in a little bit. I think. I think I. I think I look. I look some good with some of that that scruffy. You know, if it could come over here, that'd be that'd be real great. Um, and I have chin hairs. You're not, they're not going to show up on, uh, nope, it's too bright, they're not going to show up, but I do, um, they're really scraggly, and actually my roommate noticed them the other day, and I was like, yeah, he was like, we're standing like three feet apart, and he was like, you're getting some scragglies, and I was like, yeah, I'm getting some scragglies, so I got pretty excited about that, oh no, oh no, I got water on this, okay, um, but some things that I want to show you that I've done recently, um, I'll first show you these books I made, cause, cause I feel like I don't really, I don't really show you what's going on, um, in my life. But I made this book, which spread. This is actually isn't even for my bookmaking class. This was for my, uh, my form class, and we had to go take these image. We had to go take pictures of, um, like a verb, adjective from this list. So I chose which spread. Took all these pictures, and then they're like, oh, those are great. Now bind them into a book. They don't really teach us anything in that class. They just tell us what to do. So bind them into a book that describes the wit, like the word that you're doing. So I made an accordion book, and it just spreads out, and it spreads and spreads and more spreading. Um, obviously, I can't show you the whole thing, but yeah. So pretty cool. Pretty. It's like an accordion. So um, yeah, I had a really good time with that. I'll show you like an up close detail if you want to see all these cool pictures I took um, over the last few weeks, so that was pretty cool. And I have another one. <laughs> um, I have another one which is exactly the same as this one, but I'll just show you it for dramatic, dramatic purposes. Um, I'm a little hyper right now. So I made Witch Spreads and Spread, so now there's two books, and they both, they make it spread even further. Um, which is really exciting. I wanted to do one with vertical pictures, one with horizontal pictures, just so it didn't look, didn't look sloppy. Um, whoop, so it spreads some more. <laughs> so, uh, oh, look at that fire picture. That's a good one. Um, yeah, it spreads a lot, which is good. Hold on, I'm getting a phone call. I'll be right back. It's my girlfriend. Hold on. All right, so I'm back from that. Um, she just wanted to call to say hi. I'm meeting up with her in a little bit. So I'm going to show you the rest of the stuff I want to show you before it gets too dark to see it. Um, for those of you who follow me on Tumblr, you will have seen this a few days ago. Yesterday, maybe. Um, but what I did for another art assignment is I made... It was supposed to be like a nature installation project. So if any of you guys have heard of like Andy Goldsworthy, he's like kind of one of my favorite artists a little bit. And... Um, he does some cool like art and nature stuff. So the assignment was just kind of like a fun, like this is like a, the professor that's really hard and he's just like, I'm gonna give you a fun more like artistic one. Whereas we have to make like an 18 by 24 inch propaganda poster um, for our final. So that's great. But I had fun with it and I made a, um, so here's here's the bridge. This is the bridge I live near. Um, whoop. And there's see that tree there? Yeah, no, it says Olga's beautiful in the sky. No, I did not graffiti that. I didn't do it, I swear. It wasn't me. I wasn't 14 years old either. Anyway, um, so there's that tree under the bridge, and I was like, oh, that'd be really cool to um, maybe make an actual tree on top of this tree. So I 
did. So that's the start of it. I gathered some bark and twigs and leaves and I started uh, taping them, taping them to the wall, uh, and it ended up looking looking like this. So it's a tree over a uh, over a tree. It's about six feet tall. I had a picture for scale, but I can't find it right now. Um, isn't that cool? I had a I had a really good I had a really good time with this project. So I got to mount these and uh, show them. I'm really excited to see what other people in my class did for their nature installations as well. So uh, that's kind of what I did there, and uh, it was wicked. It was wicked fun. I had a really good time with that. Um, as for other things that uh, I'm just trying to catch up on things that people people were requesting to. Um, oh, to see my forehead. This is what my forehead looks like. I've been taking finasteride, um, finasteride, finasteride. I always get it confused, but um, to combat the balding, and it's actually re. Oh, I let go of that hand. It's hard to do this backwards. It's regrowing hair right here that I lost already. Like there's little fuzzies, which is interesting. Um, my hair feels thicker overall, which is awesome because it really was thinning a lot um, this summer, and I have seen a lot of bald trans guys, which is fine. I don't. I wouldn't mind being bald when I'm older, but their problem is I'm only 19 years old, 19 and a half and a week years old, and uh, I've only gotten to live my life as male for about three years, whereas other people get to live their life as male for, you know, like 20 years, if that's if they start balding early, or like 30 years, or 40 years. So I was kind of like, you know, it's not very fair. I'm not digging that. So uh, yeah, I'm on it, and it blocks the conversion of um, testosterone to DHT, which is dihydrotestosterone. Um, I might have said that wrong, but anyway, um, someone pointed out to me that yes, that that's what it's what um, it's what contributes to balding, but it just it also can, can, uh, contributes to facial hair growth. But I mean, I'm I'm doing fine with facial hair growth. It also supposedly um, contributes to certain other factors that other people were concerned about, um, but I haven't had a problem with it, and uh, I'm feeling really good about it. So there's that. And yeah, they wanted to see kind of what my forehead looked like. I'm not sure why. I don't really know why, but that's what it looks like. I got, you know, it's receded. It's receded more than it used to be, um, which is fine. And then the other thing that someone requested was to see my wallet. Um, so I'll kind of show you what's going on there. Basically, what I carry around at all times is a pen. My MassArt ID card. Look at my little mugshot. Look at my little mugshot. Oh, the little mugshot right there. Um, yep, I have to have that on me at all times. And, uh, chapstick. Gotta, gotta have your chapstick, you know, you really do. In today's day and age, chapstick. Then I carry around my phone, which looks like this. It's a normal, normal phone. It was $1. <laughs> that was great. I got it on Black Friday like two years ago. Got my keys. I'll show you my keys real quick. They used to have a tail, and I would pull on it, and now there's no tail. I've got my Blick, Dick Blick customer card, my Arts Blast. I've got my food card for Stop and Shop, because that's the only grocery store around here. And I got my Borders Rewards card. So basically, these are the staples of my existence. Books, art supplies, and food. Yeah, and then I got a few keys. Got this little key, got two normal size keys, got my house key. Got this fake key. It looks like a key, right? It looks like a key. It's actually this really cool mini pocket knife thing. Little, yeah, cool. Um, so that's interesting. That's an interesting little story about me right there. Um, and let me show you my kind of wallet situation. It's it's getting dark. Do I have to turn the light on? Should I turn the light on? I'm not turning it on yet. I'm gonna keep it dark. It's getting dark real fast. Oh, do you guys want to see my view? Here's my view outside. Of course, what happened was when I picked up my computer, I accidentally clicked stop making video. Ooh, my bad. But here's what it looks like outside. All right. It already got darker. Actually, it looks brighter via the computer than it does not via the computer. That's what it looks like. There's stuff going on out there. Um, and now, in the five minutes it took to process those video thumbnails, it's gotten too dark, so I'm going to turn the light. Are you ready for this? I'm going to turn the light. Okay. Oh, and then there was light. So uh, now the mood lighting is gone. But I thought I would show you my wallet real quick just to finalize this video. But I, I don't know how exciting this is going to be. But this is my pouch. I uh, put it on my belt, and it kind of it kind of goes like right here. 
just sticks sticks on my butt through my belt. Um, I just got it recently, so my friend has one, and like it's the coolest thing ever. Put all my stuff in it, then I don't need to wear my backpack all the time. In my pouch, I have a present for Olga. I'm not gonna show you it because I haven't given it to her yet. It's very special. Um, I've got my other staple of my existence: gum, double mint, Wrigley's. Look at this product placement. It's good stuff. It's just real good. I don't know. It's cool. I got my uh, got my little my little ticket to the MFA when I went and saw Jackson Pollock and Franz Klein paintings the other day, which was exciting. I got my little notebook. It has things like my uh, to-do list, what to be stressed out about list, some notes about Jackson Pollock, more of what to be stressed out about, things to do, Paul the dentist, things like that, you know, little sketches, stuff like that. I got a, uh, a pencil sharpener. That's from when I went to the museum. But it's still in there, just hanging out. And I got my wallet, it's got a little like leaf on it. I had this um, really cool duct tape wallet that my friend gave me that he, he used to have for a really long time. It was really awesome, but uh, it started dying, so I started using my old leafy wallet again. And I'm happy to say that my old leafy wallet is awesome, and I wicked like it. So there's my pockets over there. Now I got my wallet out. You open it up, and there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, this is a continuation, because I actually press stop again. Hey, no big deal. So, ready? Charlie card, triple A card, blue cross blue shield card, Utrecht card, my endocrinologist card, no I'm not an endocrinologist, that's my endocrinologist, he's cool, the guy I bought my car from card, because the battery's dead, someone lied about the new battery in my car, they lied, it's only 65% healthy, that means it doesn't start when it's below 30 degrees, <sighs> I found that out this weekend the hard way. Alright, my Blick Art Materials card. My Border Rewards card. And my Bank of America ATM card. That's right, that's right. I don't have a debit card, and I don't have a credit card, and I don't do money orders, so I'm home. I'm, I'm very stuck with my ATM card, but that's okay. I'm okay with that. And, um, let's see what else I got. <laughs> I'm just getting more hyper and hyper by the minute. There's this little metal thing that Olga made me. It's really cute, really cute. I like it a lot. They found it in my mom's car when they were cleaning it. And I've got my, uh, my Master ID card. No, my Master ID card is supposed to be in my pocket. I don't know how it got in there. Um, I got my Skidmore ID card. Um, that's what I look like. That's what I looked like when I entered college. Yep. It's not very actually different from, uh, from this one. Except my hair's a little shorter. I don't know. I don't know. Not very different. But uh, that's okay. Good thing I still have my Skidmore ID card in case they don't give me a new one when I return. Oh, who knows? Then I've got my uh, my driver's license. And um, yeah. So look, height, 5'7", sex, M. Yeah, it's very nice. Um, if you did see any of my name on any of these cards, I just want you to know that I do not add people on Facebook. I apologize that I don't add people on Facebook. I get about three to five people who I've never met in the entire world add me about once a week uh, with no message saying who they are or anything. Um, I do not use Facebook as like a social network thing. I use it mainly, well, I mean like a like a internet network thing. I use it to, you know, connect with friends that uh, I know. And if I did add you on Facebook for some reason, uh, special circumstances or anything like that, not everyone on my Facebook knows I'm trans. Not everyone on my Tumblr knows I'm trans. Um, so be respectful of that sort of thing. And if you really want to be my Facebook friend and you have like a really, really legitimate reason, like we're going to meet each other in like three days and you're really psychic, um, then let me know. But otherwise, like I prefer not to just because I use it to keep track of people. I'm actually going, I've got like a thousand friends right now and I'm, I'm trying to whittle them down just to the ones that I really talk to. You know, I don't, I don't want to like, I don't, I don't know. I kind of want to keep it organized. Um, but anyway, for the rest of my wallet, I've got a... Uh, I've got $21, or 40, $41, look at that, that's my food money for uh, the week, or the next two weeks, and um, a lot of change, oh, like, a, like a ton of receipts, like I just, I keep like receipts for my, my bank card in case like something bad happens or anything like that, but uh, yeah, so that's my, that is my wallet, and um, that's what it looks like, it's just, whoop. So, 
Whoever wanted to see that, I hope it was as impressive as you hoped it would be. I'm gonna put it back in my pocket. Hope you all are doing well. This video is super duper long. I apologize. Um, and take care. Peace.